Well, you know, we've been living in a pandemic for nearly a year now, and it's really taking a toll on people's mental health. But as our Christina Van Zels explains, there are new services in Wisconsin to help anyone, anyone who's struggling during this time. With most human interaction being forced online or over the phone, the sound of someone's voice. What's going on today? Signaling comfort to those listening. What's worrying you, what you're scared of? And it's that lack of physical interaction leaving many mental health issues unanswered. There's a lot of people who are trying to access mental health services. There just aren't enough providers. A new call center. Wisconsin Lifeline, this is Kiara. Expanding just in time as COVID-19 cases continue to spike. How are you doing today? People in Wisconsin calling into the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline, now more likely to be connected with someone in state. Wisconsin was previously answering about 30% of the National Suicide Lifeline calls in state. And with the addition of Wisconsin Lifeline, we've escalated that to near 90%. The Green Bay office. Are they aware that you're struggling? Covers 65 counties in Wisconsin, connecting callers with local resources. Approach your family with what you're dealing with. Averaging 40 calls a day, those on the other end of the line. Are you able to drive? Experiencing anything from emotional distress to simply wanting to chat. We have a lot of mental health things going on. We have a lot of isolation. We have a lot of relationship issues. Relationships, a tough road to navigate for some during the pandemic. If they're having violence in the home, that's a difficult place to be stuck when you can't get out and socialize. The executive director for Aurora's Healing and Advocacy Services says domestic abuse or sexual assault victims aren't seeking in-person care as they typically would. People are fearful of coming out. They're fearful of coming to a hospital setting because of their risk of transmission of COVID-19. But the hotline service phones are ringing more than usual, making it clear. The need is there now more than ever. Horn encouraging anyone to call or text the hotline for help. People are probably sitting at home with injuries. We want them to know that they can still seek the health care and help that they need, and we will get them connected with advocacy. While many miss face to face conversation, compassion can still make its way through a phone call. Do you want to tell me a little bit about what's going on? And a simple dial of 10 numbers can save a life. Christina Van Zelst, Fox 6 News. If you or someone you know is experiencing any emotional or physical distress, we have several resources listed on our website, including the number for the hotline you just saw. Just head to fox6now.com.